Hello, I'm Brian Rayburn with Fire Trucks Unlimited and I'm here to talk about this 2005 Pierce Pumper. Let's take a look. As you can see, it's got the uh, flat roof cab, so if you have a height limitation on your station, this is the perfect truck for you. Shorter wheelbase also, so you can get into some tighter areas. Pierce Custom Cab, you've got an LED light bar up top, Wayland brand. Taking a look inside the cab here, it's got a heavier duty finish on the door panels and heavy duty gray vinyl on the doghouse, ceiling, and seating. It's all in really good shape. There's, uh, there's no tears. This truck has under 40,000 miles on it, so it's really hardly been used and it shows. Um, some other nice features, you know, you got, of course, your electric siren, there's AM, FM radio, air conditioning. You've also got a, a Ward no spoke filtration system for, uh, you know, protect from the uh, carcinogens and all that kind of stuff. So, um, nice, nice interior of the cab. Moving to the crew area, you see you got these aluminum grill, uh, knurled handrails, really nice for ingress and egress, safety, getting in and out of the truck. You've got uh, heavy duty flooring, two forward facing seats in the back, SCBA, You've also got some compartmentation. If you needed to add another seat, we've got an extra spot to do that as well. So if that's something that you're uh, needing for your fire department. Rear air conditioning as well, heating. Coming back to the pump. Of course, you got a pull light here. Uh, two cross lays, one's with uh, water foam. Already has the hose and nozzle equipped, so that's a nice little bonus. Uh, you got some panel lighting. Typical configuration of uh, of your discharges, your foam system, your intake with a, a, a valve, you know, your, your auto charge displays on your pump panel as well. So nice, simple, basic pump panel layout. Still in really good condition too. That black material is held up well. Your engineer's compartment. There's some items in here, all included. Got a little adjustable shelf. Your chalk storage, SCBA bottle storage, LED lighting on the surface mount for emergency. You're above the wheel uh, compartment. Going through these roll-up doors, all locking, painted aluminum roll-up doors. They're actually all in really good shape. I'm not seeing any nicks, major scratches, anything like that. And they go up and down really nicely. The top seal, the side seals, they're all in good shape. So some more shelving. You got split depth compartmentation on the driver's side. So we got a little bit bigger water tank. More uh, grab rails. You got your hose bed, um, rear compartment. You know, another adjustable shelf. You got a roll out shelf back here. Nice deck for uh, accessing the hose bed for safety, a little bit of extension, room for the firefighters to get up and down safely. You got your hydraulic ladder rack coming around to this side. Another split depth compartment, so it's, it's definitely a larger T-style tank. Um, even you, you, you look at things like the rub rails here, these uh, channel rub rails. Normally a truck, if it wasn't taken care of, you have a lot of nicks, scraps, scra scratches, scratches, scrapes, bumps, damage. They're clean, okay? More SCBA storage, the over the wheel compartment. And your first compartment. Officer side pump panel, you've got a LDH and a typical discharge, auxiliary intake, and another full size suction. Um, nicely laid out. Crew area, get another view of the condition of the interior, the upholstery, very nice. And your captain seat. And you also have uh, your MDC mount already left in there still. So, you know, there's some nice things that got left behind to your benefit. As you can see, it's got a Cummins ISC 350 horsepower motor along with an Allison 3000 EVS automatic transmission. Truck's uh, engine's pretty clean, no leaks, 
strong runner. Will last for many, many more years. Coming around to the front, we've got a uh, extended front bumper with our trash line, air horns, electric siren speaker. So if you'd like some more information about this truck, please send us a message, give us a call, or write us an email.